Hey, I'm Tim, the Suburban Dad. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about a, a recent trip that I had. I went down to Texas to visit some family and I was also able to do some whiskey hunting while I was down there. Not quite bourbon per se, but I got some fantastic bottles. So we're gonna talk about, uh, I was able to record some video showing the process for when I go to a, a, a liquor store looking for bottles and you get to see kind of what it was like prepping to fly with whiskey bottles. I apologize in advance. I was so excited and off my routine that I recorded some of it in the wrong orientation. So my apologies. Let's get to it. <laughs> Hey everybody, so I'm here in Texas visiting some family and of course I made the, took the opportunity to uh, do some bourbon hunting while I'm out here. After multiple flight changes, and even spending a night in the airport, I'm happy to be here. So let's go see what we find. So one of the companies that I'm really excited to look for down here in Texas is Balcones because they are a Texas based company. And I'm here at Total Wine. They have one of the best selections I've ever seen. It's always fun to go to different places and see what they have readily available just sitting on the shelf. Like here, they've got a lot of stuff that I would never be able to find in Missouri, or at least not easily. So here we go. We got John Durham. Looks got Horse Soldier. Which is a military based company, which is really cool. So these are the bottles that I grabbed. As you can see, they're all balconies. I know, shocker, right? I looked for other stuff while I was down here, but balconies was by far my primary objective as far as whiskey goes. And all of these are cask strength, none of which I can get around me in St. Louis. So we got the Cask Strength Rye. It's a single barrel select from Total Wine. The True Blue Cask Strength, also a single barrel select from Alamo Liquors. True Blue Cask Strength, just the standard cask strength, so not a single barrel. Single malt rum cask finish. Um, so this is also cask strength and it's their single malt that's as it sounds, finished in their rum casks, so I'm very curious to try that after having tried Barrel's Dovetail, which has rum cask finish, and it had a really nice flavor to it. Their peated single malt whiskey, cask strength level. You hear a lot of scotches are peated. I've been very curious to try Texas single malt that is peated. They use peated barley from Scotland. So really intrigued to try this one. Last but not least, and this is actually probably the most exciting, their brand new release just this year, Pilgrimage, it's a single malt, finished in wine casks, Sauternay, I'm not a wine guy, so I'm not sure how to say that or what that is exactly, but I just know that it's Balcones and it's brand new, so I'm excited. According to Southwest's rules, which is what I flew, they say you can have up to five liters of alcohol per person. Uh, there's some specifications beyond that, I think, but that's the gist of it. So, according to my math, standard 750 milliliter bottles, you can have 6.6 .6 of those. So I grabbed six bottles and um, thanks to some tips from some Facebook friends, I grabbed what are called inflatable wine bags to be able to pack these bottles, hopefully securely, so that way when they're getting thrown around in the, the cargo hold that they stay intact. So let me show you what that's like. How am I going to pack these puppies so that way they don't break on the plane? Well, we've got these bags, so they come flat like this, and the package comes with a little pump. So you pump up the bag and it inflates to be able to completely surround and protect the bottle. I'll show you how that works. So once inflated, this is what 
the bag looks like. It's got a space for the bottle to go in and a top to close. I even brought packing tape to be able to seal that up. So these air pockets are pretty substantial. Once I put the bottle in there, I'm going to finish pumping it a little bit more just to get it as full and protected as possible. So I'll show you what that looks like with the bottle in it. the final result. It is very secure, very strong. I feel very confident that these bottles are going to do just fine in there. And it's the fact that there's so many individual individual pockets next to each other prevents it from uh, being able to get to the bottle easily unless there's like one small object that just stabs right into it which it's gonna be in my bag so there's nothing like that in my bag so I feel, feel very good about that but I will let you know how it goes the other thing that I'm considering is how to distribute the weight best in my luggage of course you can always just pile it on and pay the extra fee but I packed a smaller suitcase inside my larger suitcase to be able to distribute these bottles a little better. Um, so I'm going to try and split up the weight, see if I can't save myself some money that way. But stay tuned to see how it turned out. Well, I'm very happy to say all six of my bottles made it home safe and sound. No problems. And uh, no hangups at the airport. I was able, thankfully, both my bags were under the weight limit. I had four bottles in one bag and two bottles in another bag. They were all packed pretty securely, pretty tightly in there, not only with the the inflatable bags, but also the clothes that I had. I just packed it all in around those bottles, tried to keep them as secure as possible, and it worked. Um, so they were both checked bags, obviously couldn't bring it on the plane as much fun as that would be. Everything went very smoothly, really didn't need to change anything about how I traveled with the bourbon, with the whiskey. Those inflatable bags worked great. I just brought the bags and some packing tape and used the rest of my clothes to, to pad the areas in the rest of the bag. So, worked out great. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I think it was pretty good today. And definitely subscribe to the channel. I come out with a new video every week so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest in the bourbon and whiskey world. Cheers. <laughs>